What's up guys, it's your boy Rue and we are back for another new game announcement. In this one, we have got Chernobylite up to bat. It's a little bit less mainstream. However, I did check out the trailer for about the first 5 to 10 seconds and it immediately, immediately, as soon as I pressed play, gave me with the swiftness, gave me goosebumps. Massive, strong vibes. So I figured let's go ahead and take a look at this. Because uh, some of you might be interested. Absolutely. It is due, it is due out for July. So fairly soon here, coming up fairly soon, about the next month or so, and it is a survival horror RPG. Personally, I don't, I'm not a horror gamer at all whatsoever, but I wanted to cover this for you horror gaming fan lovers out there. Shout out to y'all, because this might be something you want to pick up here, because again, the trailer immediately caught my attention, so let's go ahead and get into this. Publisher, All In Games, and developers, The Farm 51, haven't heard of any of them, but there you go. So basically what's going to happen here is in Chernobyl Light, you're going to play as this guy named Igor. He's a former employee of a Chernobyl power plant. I do enjoy that little realism right there. That there's actually, you know, because there is a Chernobyl power plant. So I do enjoy the fact that there's a little bit of a realistic aspect to this game. Absolutely. So he's returning from an exclusion zone. And he's investigating the mysterious disappearance of his fiance, Tatiana. So this is why I'm assuming it's called Tatiana's story, right? Because Tatiana fiance. But this is, it happened 30 years ago. So why he waited so long, I have no idea. And apparently the time is not linear. So that's interesting. Every choice you make is going to affect the... It's going to differentiate the story plot. Potentially meaning alternate endings as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, let's go ahead and get right into this trailer. And uh, just, just listen to this music. Listen to the narration. Because it's about to get really creepy and ominous here. At least in my opinion. It definitely hit me. Let's get this started, y'all. Let's get it. So again, all in games. That's Tatiana right there. Look at this place. Look at this place. Look at this place. Look at the illustration. The quality. Look at her this face. Place is definitely not what it used to be. Not what it used to be. Look at here. Look at this. It's Look at that. You hear this music? Over and over again. He disappearing? Because that's, that's normal, right? People disappearing is a perfectly normal occurrence. We have to learn it all over again. We got lightning. We got shady rooms. You bunch of uh, electronical freaking buttons and stuff. We got dolls. We got dolls. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Pause it. Pausing. Pause it real quick. Y'all see this? We got a dark room. We got a TV that's black and white. No lights. Wooden building. And we got a bunch of dolls sitting on tables. Uh, nicely surrounding a dinner table. Having tea and cookies. Okay. Nicely sipping on some nice sweet tea. Delicious. Soon you may reach we got Tatiana disappearing. We got the power plant. Okay, this stuff I haven't seen. Time. Okay, this is stuff. Okay, 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 okay. What is time, Igor? What is time, Igor? We're in a military factory. Already occurred because every change Yo? creates its own space-time continuum. Space-time continuum, time leap, time warping, multiple um, manipulating time space. If you truly want hold on, 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 10, 15, 20 seconds, so all the other stuff is new to me. Uh, let's bring it, let's, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let's go ahead and restart up this trailer from the, the point in which this lady, Tatiana, starts disappearing out of thin air like this. Because that's normal, right? Because she's a, you know, she's a Dragon Ball Z character. She just used instant transmission, she used her after image technique, and just disappeared off somewhere. And then we're going to check a look at this green monster and all this other stuff that just went by way too quickly. In 3, 2, 1, run it. We got an explosion. That's probably the power plant. What the heck is this? Hold on, 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 hold on. What the hell is this? What is this? What is this thing? It's got this green, like, block gloops that's, uh, pinning this guy onto the tree. What is that about? You know what I'm saying? What the heck is that about? What is this thing? What is it doing here? Why are people disappearing? What is going on in Chernobylite? What happened at that power plant? I believe that's the Chernobyl power plant. It has exploded. What's that? What's that about? Let's continue. Time. Time. We got dead people, Time. disappearing people, military factories, you weapons. Can never change what's already occurred. Can't change what's already Every occurred. Creates its own space-time continuum. Every change creates its own space-time continuum. You'd love to see that. That sounds fun. We, can we got a picture. Anymore. Okay, so it is a. Okay, so it's kind of like a little bit of shooting stuff involved as well. There you go. You got revolvers. You got demons coming after you. Dude, did this guy just have a piece of wood in his forehead? This guy just had a piece of wood in his forehead. 
the heck is that? Let's go back. Dude. Oh. Dude, this thing is lodged into his forehead. Why is there a piece of wood in his forehead? And there is, um, there is like a FPS aspect to this game as well. So it's literally a horror, it's literally a survival horror action RPG. So I haven't played these games, but I think, I believe this gameplay is, looks fairly similar to what you see in Resident Evil. Green gas, green gas. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold up, hold the phone. Okay, so let's play this back in slow-mo and I'm not going to uh, play the audio because, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to suck. Uh, lightning, tr time portal, space-time portal, Tatiana looking ominous, creepy as heck, looking absolutely creepy, filthy, dirty, you know what I'm saying? Lightning, space-time portal just opening out of thin air, come on now. If y'all love horror games, this is something, this is something definitely. Unless I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, this is my reaction. I'm not just capping, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just capping. This is not an act. I honestly find this game to be a solid choice because it just gives me horror vibes. I don't know about y'all, but I have goosebumps, okay? Let's go. Let's continue. Let me put it back in regular speed. After that, it won't matter anymore. Oh my. Okay, let's go back real quick. Oh, we do have Epic Games here. So, Epic Games is involved yet again in something. They've been uh, increasingly involved in stuff lately. Did she just have green eyes? Yo, she had green eyes. Didn't she just morph into some gigantic buff monster? Let's play this back and we'll finish it up. Green eyes. Look at that. What was that? Chernobylites. July 2021. PS4. Xbox One, Steam, GOG, whatever the hell that is. And uh, apparently Epic Games is somehow involved in this project. So there you go, y'all. If you're a survival horror RPG fan, this is definitely something I think you guys may want to keep uh, keep track of and may want to pick up here. That's Chernobylites. That's my reaction to that trailer. Hopefully this doesn't end up being too long here. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it because, uh, yeah, there it is. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a great, great day, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.